uh, I guess I was an early adopter of technology, as Dr. Matta said, with um, with the HANA table. But then I went into a period of stagnation uh, where I was doing overlays. And um, I was the caveman of the group because I've been friends with oh, Charlie and Joel for oh, 15 plus years and Joel almost 20. Um, but I I just got so used to doing what I was doing and that it was working. I didn't see a benefit in uh, moving on to some kind of technology that I wasn't sure was going to add to my practice because I was like, uh, you know, I like doing overlays. It gives me control. I can adjust my C arm pictures do exactly how I want them. And I know that it's going to be correct. I don't know that technology is going to do that same thing for me. Um, and then I've now been a full adopter of, um, of OrthoGrid's overlay technology for the past year um, and found that it is actually extremely accurate. Um, it actually saves me time in the operating room. I don't have to wait for printouts. I don't have to put cover gloves on. I don't have to go to the, the whiteboard and look at them manually. Um, and it shaved time off my case and been extremely accurate. Um, the AI technology thing is a real deal. I wasn't a believer in it. I was like, oh, it's hocus pocus, it's marketing. Um, but it is a real deal. And there's a variety of technologies you know, from the automated broaching stuff, which I'm starting to adopt now. Uh, I'm not a full adopter yet, but I'm using it and I'm testing it out in small quantities, you know, because that's how I look at new technology, just like with OrthoGrid. With OrthoGrid, oh, I did at least 10 days of surgery, uh, which is somewhere, you know, between 80 and 100 cases where I would use OrthoGrid and I would print out manual overlays and I would compare them because I didn't trust it. I'm like, you know, uh, I don't know what this thing's telling me. Is it true? Is it not true? And it took me a while to adopt it, to trust it because I had my way that I liked in the way that worked for me. Um, and that's what I'm doing with other technologies now, like the, uh, like the automated broaching. I'm using it, but I'm using it sparingly and I'm trying to see if it works and if it works for me. And if it does end up working for me, then I'll fully adopt it, but it's, um, I'm taking it in little pieces, but, uh, I guess maybe I'm a slow mover. I don't know, Alex.